guess who got a member sweep? Guess who got a membrane sweep? I did. You know what that mean, guys? Baby's coming soon, okay? Hey, y'all. So, I'm making a video today because I am 37 weeks, two days pregnant. So, the video is basically about a membrane sweep. And I'm just kind of going to give you guys updates of what happened during my membrane sweep. So, currently, right now, it has been 24 hours since I got a membrane sweep. Um, and thus 24 hours which started yesterday because i got it yesterday um so far i have lost partial of my mucus plug so there has been like pieces of it coming out so i don't know if it'll be accurate or if i can go into labor like they say you go into labor because you know they normally say you can go into labor like 48 hours after doing a membrane sweep so i'm not sure if the same thing is going to happen to me but i am going to keep you guys updated so so far there has only been like just part of the mucus plug there hasn't been any sorry y'all the camera went off but um yeah, there hasn't been any um, any other symptoms. Like, they say you get cramping. She said I could get cramping or, like, light bleeding. I haven't got any of those so far. The only thing that I have gotten is, like, partial of the mucus plug out. So, I guess that's a good sign because if your mucus plug is coming out, that means that you're obviously dilating, right? So, obviously, I'm dilating. <laughs> Hopefully, I have this baby soon. Um, but, yeah. So, so far, um, I've just been kind of moving around, walking and stuff like that. I've been doing some squats and stuff just to kind of get things started, like kick, what is it called? Jump start? I think it's called jump start. To jump start the labor. So, 24 hours after, you guys. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Um, it's currently 7 at night. I get my kids ready for bed. So... I'm going to go get my own self in bed because it's kind of late. So, with that being said, we are going to go to bed because it's late. And we will update you guys tomorrow at 48 hours and kind of like see what happens. Or if more of the mucus plug come out. Maybe if I get more contractions or more uh, like Braxton Hicks or something, whatever. We're going to come back and we're going to update you guys at... Well, we're not going to update you right at 48 hours. I'll kind of give you like some video input on um some of the things that i do before the 48 hours and then we'll see what happens at 48 hours so see you guys tomorrow before and at 48 hours all right hey y'all so today is day two it hasn't been a complete 48 hours um we still have about three hours until the 48 hour mark but i am going to do like some things and techniques and stuff to see if it kind of like jump starts the labor if it doesn't i'm not really like tripping about it because i'm not really rushing um i would have recorded earlier but my four kids that i do have aside from this one is sick so i have to take them to the hospital and do other mom stuff so as far as the mucus plug update, there has been no more mucus plug that has came out. At first, there was like small bits, which were yesterday, but there hasn't been any more mucus plug coming out yet. Um, I did do quite a lot of walking when I was at the doctor, so that's going to be on the agenda again today. So, today we are going to do, in these last three hours, we're going to do some exercising, so I'm gonna try to do some exercising to like just help my cervix dilate. I'm also gonna go outside and walk for a little bit. It's extremely hot outside in Texas, so trust me, I won't be out there long, but I'll do a little bit of walking just to kind of jump start the labor. Um, and then we'll do the baby mama dance. So I know some of y'all know that. We won't really do like some dancing, dancing, but we'll do something to help like jump start the cervix um so let's get into this and let's start our exercises for the warm-up okay so i wanted to try a different angle because you guys are not able to see my face as much which is fine but as long as you can see the exercises so my first exercise i'm just gonna spread my leg like this and kind of bend a little just to get the cervix going 
as y'all can see, my shirt does not fit me anymore. I don't care, I'm still gonna wear it. So I'm gonna bend each side, start, bend on the other side. I'm doing like five on each side, by the way. Okay, my next one is gonna be the squat because the squat helps your legs. I don't know if y'all can see. It helps your legs kind of like open up the cervix part. So we're gonna squat and we're gonna sit still for a minute and we're gonna keep going. Whew. So as y'all can see, the camera has changed a little and that's just because I needed to switch it up so y'all can see the exercise a little bit more, a little bit more. So y'all can see what I mean when I say that I'm stretching this. Okay, so now I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit and then kind of just like lower it, lower it. Okay, and sit in position. Okay, it's gonna be hard to get up, so I might need to grab the seat. Oh goodness. Okay, we're gonna start the leg exercise again. Pushing it, coming in. Pushing it, coming in. Pushing it, coming in. And then we're gonna turn around and do it again on the other side. So, three, four, Five, okay, that's it for the exercise portion. Okay, so we did the exercises and as y'all can tell, I am out of breath. My next move will be the baby mama dance. I'm gonna do that one first, um, but I'm not gonna actually like do the dance. I'm just gonna do like some exercises to the dance. So you'll see the music playing or it'll play for a little bit. And because I know that we can't have like much of their songs playing. So I'll do a little bit of the music and then do like some exercises. And then from there, we're going to go for a walk around. And once we go for a walk around, then we'll come back and then we'll just go from there. <laughs> okay. Into the baby mama dance, y'all. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So we're about to start the dance. When the song come on, let me see you get down. Baby mom, this shot song been pregnant for way too long. Now tell the DJ, turn it on. Turn it on. Okay, so I had to cut it off right there because somebody was calling me. I couldn't finish the dance. It stopped. So yeah, um, we did about maybe like 30 seconds, which is actually good timing because you don't want to do too much of somebody else's song when you're doing a video, especially for YouTube, because you can get copyright. So we're about to get ready to go outside and we're about to start our walking and then we'll see if we have any more mucus plug coming out after the walking or if we have like any contractions or maybe like more breast hits or something. So let's go ahead and let's go for our walk. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm outside as y'all can see and I am walking. I have a trash bag in my hand because I figured that if I'm going to walk, that I may as well take the trash out. I'm trying to see, cause there's two trash cans on each end, which one I wanna go to. And I'm thinking to just go to this one. So I'm just gonna go to this one. But I am currently walking. Um, I'll probably do like a walk around the block. I'm not sure how far that'll like dilate me down, but hopefully we get like some type of dilation, right? Anything helps. My legs are hurting, by the way, from the exercise. And yeah, so.
so anything helps. <laughs> My poor legs are aching. They're killing me right now. Okay, so we're going back the other way because that wind is powerful. So walking, 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 walking. I'm not gonna record me walking the full time, but like, okay. So I'm still walking. It has been at least 25 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm getting ready to cut the video short because my legs are aching. So yeah, my hair is literally flying and I look a hot mess right now, <laughs> but whatever. Um, yeah, so cutting the video short and I will see you guys next time or i'm not gonna say next time actually i take that lie back because we're about to go back in and we're about to see if anything happened after the walking like if there was like any mucus plug or any more mucus plug that came out so we're about to go look at that y'all stay tuned and let's go see what that looks like okay all right okay y'all so i checked and there's no more mucus coming out or no more of the mucus plug at least my hair looks a hot mess. I'm sorry, but it is the truth, girl, that he made my hair puff up. But yeah, so, um, no more mucus plug. It has been the three hour mark, so it is officially the 48 hour mark. No baby coming, which is fine with me. As long as, honestly, I get to dilate some, because even if I don't have the baby today, as long as I'm dilating, the baby will come soon. And that's all that really matters to me. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. And I'm going to do something to this hair of mine because, oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching the Membrane Sweet video. Tune in for the labor and delivery video. That'll be here when baby comes. You'll get to see. So you'll get to see, like, um, the contractions and stuff. You'll see how I handle them like how i breathe through them i'll try my best to show you guys me inside the delivery room because i'm going by myself i really don't have anybody to go with me but i will still record um so i'll try my best to show you guys everything and stuff like that the first 24 hours of me with the baby like how it is and you know just certain things so make sure you guys tune into my next video please give this a thumbs up if you like this video or if it was somewhat interesting to you for anyone who has got a membrane sleep, I know it's not the best, but hey, this is what it is. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Bye.